Hello, everyone. Welcome to your spiritual liaison, 123, where the truth will be told. Got your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself. Live your absolute best life. And make sure that you get an amazing laugh on every single day. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button to show my channel some love. This reading is for the sign of Aries. Okay, so these are general readings, Aries. These aren't personal. Take what belongs to you. Leave that rest. Okay, cross watchers, you are welcome here. Aries, what's going on with you? Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on with Aries spirit? What is going on with Aries in 2022? What's going on without Aries in 2022? Okay. All right. Okay, Aries. Let's go. Let's see. <laughs> so the cards that I have pulled, they may have, you may uh, understand. So I, I say the word energy. Um, you may consider it a demon or a angel. Um, but I'm going to tell you the energy that is connected to each card. Okay. First card out, Aries, the Ten of Swords. Malthus, it says, Builds houses and high towers, destroys any enemy's thoughts and desires and all they have built. Give good familiars. So, Aries, you are not the one to be played with right now. You're going through a rebirth. Um, you have already been through so much. So now you're in some sort of energy where you're ending something and you're beginning something new. You have the Six of Cups. This could be with someone from your past, the energy that is connected with this. Or this could just be you are like you're healing the child in you so you can be better as a person. You're cutting out your wounds, healing the child in you um, so you can be a better person as an adult. And it's like, you could be, you could at this time, you could be sort of like, even in that energy where you're sort of pushing people away from you, just because you're going through a healing right now of some sort and you're working through something. But I get that you're, you're very smart in this though, Aries. You're thinking of something, every little intricate, intricate detail you're focusing on that's what i like aries i like that six of cups um okay so the energy that's connected with this is fornius um it says teaches rhetoric and languages gives one a good reputation makes one beloved by friends and foes okay so Right now, Aries, you may have a really good reputation and you may have even even your enemies may be looking at you sort of like in a good way, like or looking at the good in you, something that they see that is like, you know what, Aries may have some way, but they don't, you know, other ways are really cool, right? And so it's like, so, or you could be seeing this about yourself, you're healing something about your childhood, Um that you realize that needed to heal. And so you're like, okay, this these are the good parts of me. And then these are the parts that I need to, you know, kind of like let go of or go ahead and heal or something. Okay. And then you have the Ace of Wands, but it's in reverse. The energy that's connected with this area is um, Asia. Asa Azel. That's what it's. Asa Azel. Okay, and then it says, teaches holy secrets, instructs how to make weapons in the art of seduction. Okay, Aries, so you're using what you have. Ace of Wands, you're using your power. You're using, you're being passionate about something. You could be using your looks at this time, Aries. Feeling very sexy, beautiful, showcasing what you have to get what you want. In some way, and this could be knowledge, this could just be your passion is attractive to people, though. This is how you could have um, even won your enemies over. Something about you healing your childhood or something about you healing your inner child. 
has caused you to be more like loving or connected to your emotions in some way. And it's like, this could be appealing. This could make you more appealing. People could be like, mm, I'm, I'm feeling Aries right now. So something about you, Aries, people are liking. It's like, you're, you are the, you're the fact that you're standing on your own so confidently just shows your power. It's just like, and this power just looks good on you. You just look so attractive in what you do. Then you have the five of swords and the energy that's connected with the five of swords is Samnok. And it says, uh, Sabnok. And then it says, builds high towers, castles, and cities, afflicts men in, in many days with wounds full of rot and maggots. Yeah, so you're inflicting, you're, you're using your power right at this point. You're using your power in some way, Aries, um, because you feel like anybody who isn't working with you is working against you. You're definitely, you could even be trying to cut out areas or people who have caused you unhealthy levels or unhealthy energy in your life. So you could be turning your back on this, walking away from people. Um, you're tired of fighting with others. You've stood up for yourself. You stood your ground. It, it's not like you're tired because you don't have a fight in you. It's just that you're just sick of the circumstances or sick of the situation or how things have turned out. And you've gone through some sort of healing area. So you're no nonsense right now with the six of cups. You've gone through some sort of internal healing. Um, you could have been in a situation where you were in the hospital for a short amount of time due to something that was happening internally and you could have been going through some sort of like getting out you know recuperating healing yourself so you're in some sort of place you could be very grateful right right now that you survived something or you went through a situation in your childhood and now you're adult you're an adult and things are a lot better for you you could even be looking at your life saying i never thought in my childhood this is where i would be now so your life may be going very well for you, but it's like you still have to deal with a lot of conflict or something. Um, then you have the King of Swords. The energy that's connected to this is Elagos. It says, reveals knowledge of forthcoming battles and, and procures the favor of lords and kings. So Aries... I don't know, like something about your passion, something about the level of fighting you. What is that? What is that? What is that saying? It's it's not the size of the dog. It's the size of the fight in the dog. That's what it is, Aries. You, you refuse to give up. You're going after something with such passion in your life. You've healed a part of you internally. This could be spiritually wise. You're, or either you're going, you realize you need to heal a, in, the inner child in you. And so it's like you're being, you're, but you're using your power to do this too. And anybody who is interfering with this healing process, oh my gosh, hey, Aries, they better step aside because you got money on your mind. You got a plan in place. And if it's not working out for you, you're cutting through their nonsense. It's it's like you're what what is that called when you when the judge is sitting in a um that gavel she snap you know boom 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 the final judgment. The card that came this is a judgment card. It says Belial. It says disturbs. I'm sorry, distributes promotions and and high offices. Um. Causes one to be liked. Yeah. Hey, Aries. I don't know. I, I told you, even your, you even, some, something you did even got your enemies liking you. Something you did. Even got those who were not on your side rethinking something or singing your praises. I ain't mad at you, Aries. I ain't mad. At, they cannot deny how hard you worked for something. They cannot deny how much you have worked 
towards some sort of like change in your life or cutting things out of your life or somebody could be singing your praises because you finally healed from something or you finally cut someone or something out of your life. That was long, it, this was long overdue, Aries. It was long overdue. You knew it needed to happen. But you had, I get you had distractions everywhere. Um, you have this three of pentacles right here, Aries. Um, you could be working very well with someone pertaining to your money. It could be three people involved, you and two other people who work very well together to obtain something. And the energy that's connected to this is Orbus, um, Orobus, I'm sorry, Orobus. Um, it says, answers questions about the past, present, and future, gives dignities, grants the favor of friends and foes and faithful servant. Oh, wow. So look, you definitely had people. I told you, you can even have an enemy coming, asking you, what do you need help with? It's like the energy, Aries, I can't even explain this level of energy. It's like the energy that is coming off of these cards is so profound. It is so amazing because it's just like you are totally in your King of Cups energy. This this emotional fulfillment here, you're totally in this uh, uh, Ten of Cups energy. And you could have been so brutal in cutting somebody off or cutting people off or like not tolerating something and so passionate about trying to, you could even be saying, you know what? I realized some of the mistakes I made in the past had to do with an unhealed childhood. The child in me was not healed. That's why I was acting like that. That's why I was doing that. So it's like you healed a part of you that, and you or you cut out a part of you, you made peace with it. With this, you made peace with the truth with this King of Swords. And this Six of Cups, you made peace with your childhood. You found out the truth. You focused on it. You made peace with it. So now you can put that to rest and have a new beginning in a better direction. You could work very well with people. I even get some of your enemies are singing your praises, Aries. They can't even deny how good you are looking or how good you're doing or how much something has changed about you. Okay, and then and this is bringing you um, emotional fulfillment. And it's not because somebody's singing your praises. You just feel good about decisions, something that you finally put your foot down about. You're feeling good about some sort of change right now that you made in your life about you or something that this could even be pertaining to someone you have children with. You could have made some sort of decision where you saw the truth about something with this King of Swords and you cut something out. And now it's like you're happy because you were able to change the situation or the circumstances pertaining to your family life or your emotional fulfillment or something um you do have a lot of you do have a lot of things happening positively in your life right but you're no nonsense right now with this king of swords aries you are no nonsense what does not fit into your life you are like see you bye i'm out um the king of swords this energy that's connected to this is um andre andrephalus and it says, teaches geometry and, and measurements, increases one's intelligence, can transform a person into a bird. And so you are totally using your energy right now to give people their wings to fly the heck up out of your life if they are not with you. You're passionate about something right now. You have learned the art of seduction. So you know how to get people on your side, tell them what they need to hear or what they want to hear to kind of boost them up, to get with you. I like hey, Aries. You're using your power. You're sort of you. I even get that Capricorn energy from that. You're sort of using that power to get what you want. Um, 
Anyway, we have the king of the queen of swords here, but yeah, you're no nonsense at this time. Like you have put your foot down, taken charge of something in your life, and you have put a depth to something, a connection. This could be a relationship or just people who you felt like you were having too much conflict with. You put some permanent depth to this with the ten of swords, so you can have a new start that reflects who you are. Um, and you're working with someone else now with this three of pentacles. Um, with this five of swords, you just got sick of being sick and tired, Aries, and I ain't even mad at you. Okay, so two of cups, high priestess, you're intuitive, seven of swords in reverse, two of wands, upright, page of wands, upright, and eight of wands. Yeah, so... Aries, all this passion, this, all these wands that showed up in your readings because this is who you are. This is who you are. You're, whatever you put your mind to and you're passionate about, you could definitely, you are definitely sticking in there. Um, with this two of wands, you were in some sort of energy where you were indecisive about cutting something off with somebody who you really love with this two of cups. This was a very hard decision for you. Um, this was somebody who you really felt like you were indecisive. Like, do I want to work with them? Do I want to stay? Do I want to go? Do I want them to stay? Do I want them to go? This could be, you could have been looking at it like it, it it affected your money in some way, dealing with somebody in your life. It was money, it was money related, like work related, whether you should stay with them or not, whether you should give. So if you were dealing with somebody who affected your something somehow though this could be a supervisor where you were trying to figure out if you still wanted to work with them or not um because it would affect your money in some way or you could have decided like somebody in your home you could have decided like i need to end this relationship but if i end it it's going to affect my money right so in some way like this person could be bringing in money into the home and if you end the relationship then it's like that is an income you can no longer depend on or something like that. But your intuition is leading you in the right place with this with this high priest. Is you are definitely intuitive and in getting to the truth about something, about your childhood or who you are, the past with the six of cups. You could be doing a lot. Of, I said something about your child. You're healing your inner child at this time. It's like all of this, something that has happened in your life, all of this confusion has come from you still letting this inner child in you have all these wounds that you refuse to actually address. So it's like now you're addressing this because you're like, look, I'm tired of hurting from the past. Um, with the six of cup, it's you're, you're learning to let all the things that you wanted to hear. As a child, you're telling yourself all the things you wanted to see as a child. You're telling yourself all the things. So it's like you're healing yourself through loving yourself the right way. Now you're being more intuitive. A Pisces could play a role in this as well as a Gemini. But it looks like um, you're in some sort of energy. You're going to get some communication too with this page of wands. Something coming in really quick. Somebody going after or you're going after somebody so you can communicate with them from your childhood but it looks like somebody from your childhood is going you're going to have some sort of communication with this ten of cups this is going to bring you some emotional fulfillment and this could be with family um or just somebody who you see as family with this king of swords it's about the truth you and this person could be having some sort of really um like some conversation where things are being revealed and kind of put out on the table right now, Aries. And then you have this eight of wands. So it's like, and with the eight of wands, the energy that's connected to this is Rono. It says, um, teaches rhetoric very well, gives faithful servants, favor of friends and foes and knowledge of languages. Lang something about a lot of communication coming in, talking, moving forward, um, moving from one direction onto a new direction. You know, this seven of swords is in reverse. It's like you're tired of having to deal with 
um, things not working out in your life or in some sort of connection, you're willing to put the work in there to make something happen. Um, but you're no nonsense. You're not like, I don't know whoever is dealing with you, Aries. They don't realize the energy that you're in right now. It's like you're, you are, are just like in some sort of energy. You're no nonsense. You're about your business. And all you have so many wands in this reading. You have shown up so powerful in your own reading. Um, you're coming to a real with this. I see the moon and the sun combining for you. And when I say not not just for you, but it's like it's combining for your favor or so you can see something as clear as like you can almost see your past, your present and your future. Something you're doing, Aries, I love this power that you're you're exhibiting right now. And it's just like this ten of swords, you were just like, whoo, I'm not having it. You you cut something out so you could have a new beginning. You cut something or someone out so you could have a new beginning. This was somebody who you had a you had a lot of love with. You were really you be even became indecisive about whether you wanted to work with this person. But this is somebody who you had have had conflict with in the past with this five of swords. This could be an air sign you had conflict with. Um, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. But it's like with this two of swords, you have been indecisive for too long about, I mean, this two of wands, about what you should do. But you have so many better options. You got the world in your hands, Aries, and you don't even know it. Fragmentation. People have only saw a fragment of, what your, of your capabilities. They've only seen a fragment of what you can do. You also could feel like you've only saw a fragment of somebody's true self. Um, and this could be where this Ten of Swords came in, where you're cutting something out because you only saw bits and pieces of it. Or this could just be symbolic of you cutting out different pieces of yourself that need to grow. I mean, different pieces of yourself that you felt like were unhealthy from your childhood or different pieces of yourself that was just unhealthy overall. So it's like you're going through a rebirth of makeover. And I get a lot of people going through this. A lot of other signs are also Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricorn, all going through rebirths. Um, so yeah, so it's just, so Aries, join the club. <laughs> join the club. So you are not alone in this. It's like you're seeing the truth about bits and pieces of stuff. This fragmentation, whatever. So whatever it is that um, that you didn't see the truth about before, you're getting it. You're finally finding it. Okay, and then you have Queen of, of My World. So Aries, you're in some energy where you're using your power, you're using your intuition, your intelligence, you're trusting yourself. You could, a lot of communication, fast communication could be coming in pertaining to who you are or your level of power in some way. You could be communicating with people at this time, going after your dreams or somebody could, could be, could be mm, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> could be communicating with you about your dreams or what you've wanted or the power you have over your own life. Um, and But then it also looks like you have somebody, I don't know who this was, who you were dealing with, um, but Aries, it looks like whoever this person was, it's a lot of, so it's a lot of air and it's a lot of fire. And I'll say all the fire signs and all the air signs. <clears throat> mm. Fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Somebody has been wanting you to suffer. You see this card? She's giving her a poison apple. 
somebody has wanted, they have, this is somebody you've been with for a long time. I said she, but it could easily be a man. This is somebody, this is because in, in tarot, the, the, um, it's male and female energy because we all embody that. I think an embryo starts out as a female and it doesn't turn into a male until like after like six weeks or eight weeks or something. I have to look it up. But anyway, something like that. So we all embody both energies. But um, but fated to suffer. This is somebody who has tried to give you like something that is not. This is somebody who could cook a lot. Like they're trying to feed you poison to make you suffer. And this could just be words that they're trying to feed you to sort of make you suffer or you know, try to hurt you or hurt your feelings or make you believe they're on your side. But for real, they're trying to poison you or they've tried. You could be realizing all of this Aries right now. And I get that you're seeing everything for what it is. Um, and you're cutting things out too. This queen of swords is no nonsense. Like you're no nonsense at all right now. Like you're like, I'm, I'm, this is how I feel. This is what I'm tolerating. This is what I'm not tolerating. Deal with it or bye. Um, yeah. So, cause you realize somebody wanted to, they enjoyed seeing you struggle or they enjoyed seeing you suffer. They enjoyed, they were feeding you something that was really unhealthy for you for a long period of time. Going through these phases. Still hiding the truth about who they are or what they really wanted from you. You could be finding this out in a third quarter moon. During the third quarter moon phase. You may be finding how much somebody really wanted to see you suffer. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Aries, that is the, you could, I just get that you're going to find out the truth about something and you are not to be played with right now, Aries. I just get the energy. You are in some sort of place where you're just like putting your foot down with people who just are making your life harder. Anybody who's making your life harder, you're frustrated with them and you're speaking your mind. And I get that um, they need to pick their battles wisely. And so I think I said that about Aquarius too. So Aquarius could be significant. It was a lot of air and a lot of fire in, the, in your reading, Aries. So you could be dealing with an air sign or something like this, or air sign could be um, significant in this reading. Okay, so I love you. I love you, Aries. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And please be sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button and show. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, and leave a comment in the comment section to show my channel some love. And I will talk with you soon.